Okay, we're ready to do a, a fix on the uh, cogs inside these transmissions that you trouble all the time when you slam them into gear. I wanted to show you one thing though. When you do this, you have to have an old piece of plywood or something where you can cut a hole in it, in it like that so you can set this transmission inside here. Um, because that's the way you need to take it apart. You take it like this because when you take this apart, if you pull this shaft out with it, there's some uh, washers, thrust washers and stuff down in here that will uh, that, that'll make you have to pull this whole gear unit apart over here and it's a pain. So this is going to be the easy way to do it uh, as far as fixing these cogs. Now I got all the bolts out of this already and we're ready to separate the case. All you do is just take all the bolts around off and uh, what you do is you take a, a screwdriver here and over here and you can pry it as you tap on this shaft to keep it down. So I've got uh, Larry here to help me and what I'll do is I'll hold it down and tap it while he's lifting that up. And, uh, all right. See what we were doing just now is this bearing right here gets very snug on this shaft right here. So I'm holding it down while he's prying it up. And once it gets to that easy spot, then you can pull it right off. And that way you don't, um, you know, you don't drop those washers. And this is, see this, there's a washer here. Well, now it's under here. There's a washer under here, and I'll show you what it is in just a minute. Uh, it's right here. This truck walk truss washer is one just like the ones that are down here. So if you don't pull, hold the shaft down while you're pulling it apart, those thrust washers will fall. So you just slide the shaft right out and set it aside. Take this thrust washer and uh, and you take these two chains all off with this. Uh-oh, and I just dropped the other thrust washer. And I want to show you that. There's a thrust washer that goes on this gear and then this gear sits on top of it and the other thrust washer goes on top of this one. We'll show you that when we go back together with it. So this right here is the cog right here that is operated forward and reverse. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the little uh, tension ball that holds this when you go from new, neutral to forward to reverse. Got a little ball on it. So we're going to pull that off. Okay. And then there it is right there. I'll show you this. It's just a, uh, a bolt with a spring and, a, and a, um, a little ball in it. So Now there's a pin that holds this from going back and forth and it comes out easily. You pull that little pin out. See how easy it is? <laughs> it's out. That's all you do. That allows you to push this shaft in while you're taking this off. This is the cog that goes bad. Now I'm going to have to get up close to the camera so you can see what happens. Now this side of the cog is still good because that's the reverse side. This cog of the, this side of the cog, you can see it's tore up because of it slamming into forward gear. So the good thing about this is, is that this cog turns. Let me show you something while I, before I forget it. This is the little roller that goes in here that's on this. If it slides down, falls down, you're going to have to put it back on this little shaft right here. But, this is what I'm going to tell you. Because this is on the input shaft, it only turns one direction. See, so it's turning this direction and forward, and it's hitting on these gears. This gear right here, and this gear down here. And I'm going to show you that those gears very rarely go bad. So what you can do is, instead of replacing this, you just flip it over and put it down like that. And then the good sides of this cog will be hitting in forward. And you'll, you'll not have a, a problem at all then. But now I want to show you that these gears are made out of um, hard steel. These are made out of cast iron. That's why these wear 
and these don't. You'll very rarely find these uh, uh, bad at all, ever. And if you do ever have them, this one down here slides right up, and this one slides. Of course, you take this one off first. I have these gear, gears for sale um, on my site that uh, are used, and they're good, and they're reasonable. So if you ever have to have these, but it's very rarely that you have to have those. So all you do is you take the, you know, like I said, this, and you turn it upside down, and then you stick it on here. Back, just like we all you gotta do is reverse everything now, okay? Um, and you push that in where it's like that. Uh, and then just reverse what, what we just did, and then you'll have a no more problem in jumping out of gear and forward. So that's the tip of the day, and uh, we'll hopefully get some more stuff going for you pretty soon. Thank you. Okay.